Hi everyone, in this video today I'm going to be discussing mental tics and intrusive thoughts. Now, mental tics and intrusive thoughts are slightly similar, however I do believe that there is a difference between them, because I believe mental tics are a lot more random than intrusive, intrusive thoughts, they are tics of the mind, whereas intrusive thoughts tend to be something that triggers um, anxiety and distress with in, in the individual and an intrusive thought um, is usually ego dystonic meaning that it's what the individual is most against and um, it may fuel compulsions if somebody is afraid that it means something about them or worried that it may happen or they may act on it or something whereas uh, with a mental tick it is pretty much completely random um, but it is very repetitive which can still be incredibly frustrating. Now with a mental tick, people may have um, repetitive words and phrases in their mind, and that can be anything really. Um, one of my mental tics was spinach. I would just think spinach, spinach, over and over again for absolutely no reason. And of course, it wasn't me doing it, it was just popping into my mind. Um, and if I was stressed, it would come out as a vocal tick. But for the most part, it was just in the mind. And I've had a few words and phrases um, that have been in my mind on loop um, for no reason and I also had another one which was numbers I would have a constant stream of random numbers with with no actual sequence I wrote them down but all day just constant numbers in my mind um no sequence um my brain was basically just regurgitating random things um but it can also be random sounds in the mind or songs so for me I had a, an instant where my stream of thought pretty much well I had seven streams of thought basically it's split and on one of those streams of thought it was very loud but I had uh, sound crashes and this wasn't an auditory hallucination because I didn't actually hear it um, and I knew it wasn't real but it was still in the mind and it, sa it, se it seemed loud to me and also songs I had um, a mental tick where just one loud part of a song would come into my, into my mind and it almost sounded like it was shouting, it was so loud, um, because that was the thing with mental tics. Um, people say that thoughts seem the same volume, but with a mental tick it was very, very sudden and loud. Um, but yes, some people also have cop coprosepsia, which is where they may have um, coprolalia, which is the swear words, in their mind. and. Uh, for me, I had that. It was the C word in my mind on loop for no apparent reason. Um, and with a mental tick, sometimes it, usually it does come into your head very randomly. You don't even know you're going to do it. But sometimes it's almost like you're using your inner voice to say it as a tick, um, which is really weird. Sometimes I'd feel like I'm relieving a sort of urge in my mind. It's very, very strange. Uh, but usually, for the most part, it was just very random. Um, and some people also have echoskepsia, which is where they may, in their mind, repeat what somebody has said to them, not in a ruminating sense, but just literally just what the person said is now stuck in their head and they can't get it out. Um, and some people may also have um, intrusive thoughts, as I was saying, intrusive thoughts are different as they're usually egotistonic, what the person's most against, and they... Um, provoke anxiety and distress and an intrusive thought can include something like um, visions of bad things happening or um, visions of um, harm coming to the people you love or yourself um, and intrusive thoughts are usually linked with a compulsion although not always you can have intrusive thoughts without compulsions um, but they are still very distressing and sometimes people may have um, intrusive thoughts could be worries or questions which they feel need to do something about or answer and ruminate about. Um, sometimes they can be fears, you're scared something may happen. Um, and I also had an interesting thought which was opposite thinking where I would look at something and think the opposite of what I believed or what I wanted to think and it was everything I looked at. It, For example, I every time my friend messaged me it would think something horrible about my friend which obviously I didn't agree with and sometimes if I saw somebody outside it would think something horrible about horrible about them when I wouldn't really believe that um so it's basically everything I looked at it would think the opposite of what I really believed um and it takes you in a voice so it makes you sound like you're a horrible person but of course it's not because it's the intrusive thought pretending to be you and there's also sometimes people may have intrusive thoughts that sound like there's someone else in your mind and this is again different to any sort of hallucination or delusion because we know that it's false and that it is just in the mind 
However, it can sound like there's somebody else in the mind saying horrible things um, sometimes, so that can be some sort of intrusive thought. Sometimes people may have, if it's OCD related, people may have the compulsion to argue with it. Other times it can just seem like there's someone in your mind yelling horrible things, um, but it can be very strange. Now, in terms of uh, mental tics, um, the problems with mental tics is, of course, it's incredibly frustrating to have something in your mind on loop that you can't get out, and it can also make it a struggle to think for yourself. Um, if you're trying to think about something, it keeps getting interrupted, um, or it can be a struggle to focus on things like reading. If you're trying to read, but your your mind's just saying these things on loop, it's kind of impossible to focus, and also it affects auditory processing, so it's very difficult to listen to what's actually going on around you because your mind is just constantly on loop with this. Um, and it's very just very difficult to, to listen to what's going on around you, really. But um, some of the ways to manage mental tics can be listening to music because it kind of drains it out and the music is in the forefront and you can kind of stop focusing on the mental tics. And sometimes distraction can help. For me, I remember when I was about 15 years old, um, having... A distraction like for example I would, I would go and find a cd something as simple as that like a little chore just to go get me to do something to distract me from it so keeping busy can help and also talk to others like when i'm being social or doing something that i'm focused on especially speaking then mental ticks drain out um and also keeping your blood sugars up i found that if i eat um little and often then the mental ticks and intrusive thoughts actually decrease so blood sugar for me does seem to play a role so it may for somebody else as well um, I hope this video is helpful. I know it's short, but please comment your experiences down below or anything that you may want to add. And thank you for watching. Bye!